We're switching from the sewing side to the embroidery side of the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2. So I pulled out a few of my accessories that I always need close by when getting ready to embroider and what I'm going to put away for my sewing. So first up, we've got three hoops that do come with this machine. So we're gonna be using the hoop size closest to the design size. So since I don't know which design I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna just keep these handy. But there's no need to be using the largest hoop and wasting stabilizer when you're embroidering a small design. You'll notice when you pick a design, it will come up with a hoop that it recommends. And by the way, there's a way to actually pick the hoops you own, tell the Epic 2 that those are the only hoops it can choose from, and then it will always pick hoops that the design will fit in that you own, since Viking does have a long list of hoops available. Uh, we do and will be switching from our sewing foot to our embroidery foot. So pull out your sensor cue foot from the accessory box. And also while you're in there, let's go ahead and pull out our straight stitch throat plate. With those two items pulled out, we're gonna be wanting some embroidery needles. And there is a couple, there's one embroidery needle in your pack that came with your machine. And by the way, yes, embroidery needles are a thing. They are sharper and they come in 75s or 90s. But did you know that you can buy a 100 pack from your local Husqvarna Viking dealer? So definitely check out if that's available to you because needles become less expensive. While you are going to be switching out your throat plate, why don't you pull out your brush and plan to give that little area a clean out for what we're working with. Um, yes, I'll have my screwdriver close by to take the foot off and also change the needle if I haven't put an embroidery needle on just yet. Last couple things here, curved embroidery scissors. I'm a fan of the Kai brand of embroidery scissors. I'll put some links below where you can find this. I love it because these holes are so big. So even my husband who embroiders from time to time, his large hands can fit in these scissors. So if you're looking for just a nice, very sharp, be careful, those are sharp at the end. Scissors, check those out. We always can use more scissors. So if you have some you like and then you buy some extras, it's they're great to have around. Okay, embroidery thread. We're gonna have embroidery thread, which is a shinier thread. We'll be talking about polyester thread. That's what we love, these machines so fast. So having polyester thread is stronger and keep up with your speed of your machine. Also, bobbin thread. We'll be winding a bobbin in just usually white. It's, it's rare that you need matching thread on your bobbin, but there are a few projects like lace designs that you might wanna actually match that. But all in all, bobbin thread is thinner. You can get more on that nice big bobbin that you have with this Epic 2. And you'll find yourself just, just buy a spool and then wind up as many bobbins as you can. And if that's the case and you run out of bobbins, buy an extra pack of bobbins and let those be your embroidery bobbins. There's even a bag of hoop clips that will be used on your larger hoops after you've hooped your fabric. They will sit in these little openings that can help kind of squeeze the hoops together as they become longer and longer. Sometimes the fabric is tighter in the corners than it actually is on the sides. By adding the little clips, it can kind of squeeze these together and make sure things are held in place. There's enough clips to go around your largest hoop and you can just add those on after you've put your fabric and stabilizer in the hoop and then clip those little edges together. And then after you're done, they can just be slipped off. Usually we don't need these on the smaller hoops, but that is what that little bag of metal clips are that were included with the machine. From time to time throughout our videos, I will be referencing our online course called Embroidery Essentials. And so if you do wanna join me, we work through 15 different embroidery techniques. And what it does is it actually gets you comfortable with your machine. Because every time you do one of these blocks, you gotta start over. You gotta do it from the beginning over and over and over. So if you struggle with how to open a design, pull in a design, move a design, and so forth, believe me, after doing these plus three three other projects, you are going to be uh, very comfortable with this machine. That's how we build this class. Uh, it is fun. These are your blocks and you can make your 
fun little wall hanging. We do everything from applique to cut work to a tile scene. Everything's quilted in the hoop, so um, you just can so easily see that embroidery machines are more than just embroidery designs. You're actually quilting the backgrounds of each of these blocks before you sew them together. So if that intrigues you, hop over to the Embroidery Essentials online course. Again, links are below this YouTube video where you can find out more about this course. If you haven't taken time, let's open up your sample book, Designer Epic 2. That's all the built-in designs that you have in this machine. And I was just flipping through it myself as I was getting set up and I was amazed at how many designs I forget come with this machine. And there's other techniques. So there's techniques to work with the uh, ribbon attachment. There's ones to work with the couching options with embroidery. There are quilt blocks that are stitched and flipped. There's cut work, there's lace designs. There's just about everything that we have available uh, for this machine. There are some samples of all those designs, plus just some fun, fun ones. We're gonna talk about how you can change colors on screen. So there's lots in here that I hope you'll get inspired and they're always gonna look better stitched out than just sitting on the page. So just pick one and stitch one and I bet you'll be excited just like I always am when I stitch out something from my machine. So to attach the embroidery unit, slide off your accessory box, set that aside, flip your embroidery unit over and make sure you don't have any red clip sticking out of this area right here. If you have a red clip, pull it out. It should be taken out and disposed of. You don't need it any longer, but if you leave it in accidentally, it won't embroider. So just line it up with just like you slide on the accessory box and push it in until it clicks. You'll get a message that says the embroidery arm needs to calibrate. Go ahead and make sure everything is clear from this area around your machine and touch the green check mark. That little noise at the end, that is what it sounds like every time you sit down to embroider. And I can't wait to get started in playing with all the features that this beautiful machine has to offer.